I'm now with Wesley Godley and he's going to tell us a little bit about his work named Atmospheric Disturbances. So you collaborated with Superflux. Could you tell us a little bit what, what it's all about? So it's a work in two parts, basically. So uh, Superflux produced the buggy air, air monitoring system, which is an air pollution sensor that you can put onto prams and buggies. And we did a walk through Milan a few weeks ago and recorded data showing three different pollutants as we walked through the city. And we took that data and Superflux made these really great visualizations which show the walk through the, the city and showed the peaks and troughs of the data. And you can actually see at, the, at what points and what walk you've got the, the big, biggest peaks and lowest troughs. So it was unpacking a little bit about how air pollution works in Milan. The second half of the installation uh, is a way of thinking through and with this data. So thinking about challenging ways that data visualization is traditionally done towards creating new forms of sense making of this kind of very complex dense data set. Wesley, we're here at the Design Week and the key theme is design for life. As an artist, what does design for life mean for you? So I think that for, for both myself and Superflux, I mean, we're very interested in looking at how we can change everyday um, attitudes towards very everyday things. You know, in terms of air pollution, it's a very everyday concern uh, for especially all of us living in London, which Superflux and I both do. Um, but also thinking about the everyday interactions we have with data and with data visualization as well and forms of, of making sense of the world through these things. I think for me, like that's the, 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 the component of this work which kind of bleeds into everyday life because we, we kind of want to change these attitudes towards both um, pollution but also towards data as a whole. Thanks for your time, Wesley. Thank you.